Welcome everybody to a first Friday of the month. We've got a new show. It's a bit different than we normally do because I'm in Dubai. We're not going to Holland. We're going to Catalonia, to the beautiful small town of San Saloni. I hope I pronounced it right, but uh, Carlos will for sure say how, it, uh, how to pronounce it right. John is not there. John is flying at the moment towards uh, Miami because we have a show there next week. So uh, busy times for Flower Circus, but you're not there for that. You are here for the new online show, first Friday of the month. And we've got a hell of a designer, as they uh, should say. So uh, let's quickly get him into the live stream because uh, we've got Carlos in. Welcome. Hello, John. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? In my town, San Saloni, you pronounce it very well. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and so yeah. it's it's great to it's great to have you in the show. You prepared five different designs. They look really stunning. We've got a cameraman as well who can zoom in on the designs as well. So for the people who want to see it up close, uh, we're going to zoom in as well. And of course, after the show, we'll make pictures so we have a, a lookbook as well. So uh, let's start. Thank you very much, John. Thanks for the invitation. It's a, a pleasure for me, as you know. We had a nice time together. And it's a shame that you are not here. We have to say hello from the distance, yeah? Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you very much to join us, Flower Circus. We'll have a nice hour here with the, between flowers. Please, if the sound is not good or the... Uh, the image is not good, just contact John and we'll try to do our, our best. So John, as you said, we have uh, five designs. Um, I have prepared three compositions and then we have uh, two hand-tied bouquets and everything about the spring. But I wanted to do just from the beginning of the, the end of the winter, beginning of the spring till just at the end of the spring. So we have uh, different colors and materials for each design and we'll go from the winter to the, to the summer at the end. So it's okay, John, if I speak about the first one? Yeah, but first, before you start, uh, we already got some people in, so uh, let's show them first. Sally Hardy, friend of the show, is in saying good afternoon, all you magical people from Berkshire, UK. We've got uh, Madeleine in is saying bonjour, uh, John e Carlos. And we've got Anna in as well, and she says, nice to have another show with Carlos last year. It was really special. Hello from Ukraine. So we got... We uh, from yeah. Ukraine. Uh, okay, the, uh, around the wall. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, if they have any questions, of course, they can, they can ask, and we'll try to answer as well as possible, and see if, uh, if they need something else. So here we are. So Great. Let's start. Yeah. Uh, one second. I have my wife here. I need to give her something. Uh, Nuria is here. We are in the shop, you know, John. We tried to close a little bit, but... Yeah, because uh, you're in Spain, and uh, Spain is famous for, uh, for siesta. So uh, <laughs> your, your shop is closed from 1 o'clock until 4? In the afternoon or 12 to 4? Half past 4. Half past 4. Okay. So, uh, so the we, shop is closed. Yeah, this is why we try to do now. Yeah, it's easier. As you know, we have a, a shop that is a, a quite different. Yeah. Uh, it's a shop that uh, is a flower shop, but also is a pastisserie. So people can come and take a breakfast, uh, a coffee, buy, buy a cake, and all this. So the, the movement that we have every day is, is different from. From other flower shops or from before. Okay. I mean, uh, so it's beautiful. I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we can you even wear your. You. 
Yeah, I, I see you wear your blouse of flows as well. Well, let's talk about flows a little bit later, but uh, let's start with the first design. It's a beautiful white design with a white chrysanthemum in it. Yeah, we have a, a wreath that it can be a, a wreath just for a decoration of a, in a house, in a hotel, in a restaurant, for a funeral, as you prefer. I would say that it depends the country where you come from, then the, the shape of the wreath will have a different meanings. So then it's, uh, it depends the country. You can say that we can use this design for a funeral or maybe uh, for a, a composition for a restaurant or a hotel or whatever. So talking about the design, we have a Oasis wreath here. Yeah, easy. We have texture with the chrysanthemum, the white one, uh, with an, um, just you need to keep the shape yeah, and try to do the same depth with all the flowers because we need a texture that has to be a little calm and also at the same time it goes connected with the color and the texture of the rest of the flowers. So this is also very important in this case. Uh, you will see, John, that um, the designs of today are based also in a traditional shapes. We have the wreath, we have a a circle design, we have a, a radial design that is uh, half ball. So we'll be based in some decorative designs with the traditional shapes, but also with the round flowers, with the lines of the different flowers, the star of the strand here that we have here. So I'm talking too much, I need to work a little bit. Uh, we have the, the texture of the chrysanthemum, and then we will do like a, a ribbon on the top just working with all yeah. the bolts. We have the Narcissus bolts here. Um, in this case, we have used, uh, how you call, a wooden stick here. Yeah, the, tooth, the pin. To the stick. Yeah, so just to fix in the in the wreath. So it's good, so it's not a, a problem. And we can fix them just with the water that they have. And also, if we can spray a little bit the, the roots, it's enough enough to to take the flowers out yeah so we'll have in a, yeah. a couple of days we'll have the white narcissus going up yeah and we have the different movements with the zoophila strandia a hydrangea and some branches and leaves that we will begin to work on yeah the chrysanthemum that uh, Carlos is using is called uh... Uh, Commander, Commander is quite new on the on the market. It's from the breeder uh, Deli Floor, and it's grown by uh, by Zento. It has a beautiful green heart, as you can see in the design as well. So it makes it easy to combine as well with other uh, flowers. Uh, meanwhile, we've got uh, VB Tarot in hi from the UK. Uh, Sandra is in saying, uh, "Great to see you, Carlos." Sandra from Inspirations in Northern Ireland. Uh, Carol's in saying excited to be joining you from KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. And we've got Madeleine who is saying Saint Trebo magazine avec un super concert, patisserie et flowers. It is a really great concept. Uh, if you're planning to, to travel to Barcelona, just take a, a car half an hour drive and you will be in the flower shop. You will not only see amazing flowers. You will see a great concept at the patisserie as well. And I think it, it works really well. The, the two days where I, when I was at your place, uh, Carlos, it was uh, unbelievably busy. People coming in, drinking a coffee. Meanwhile, seeing all your beautiful flowers and taking some flowers or plants home as well. So it's a, it's a great concept. I can say that Madeleine, I think she has been here. She was uh, on holidays in Spain and visited me in the shop. Yeah. We could buy uh, chocolate together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so soon you're the one of the big attractions, uh, tourist attractions of Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> well, not I, I would not say that, but I, I think that it's a different concept. I don't know in, an, in other countries, but in in Spain, the most difficult sometimes is the the daily work. Yeah. Uh, people, uh, the customers, they don't used to buy flowers uh, every every week for for a house. Yeah, to have the house uh, in the special colors, 
uh, with uh, the smells with the flowers. So um, in Spain, the customers used to buy flowers as a present. Only. So yeah. with this mix of pastisserie and flower shop helps us to sell more flowers uh, every every week. This week we have a promotion of tulips. Okay. <laughs> it's you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's tulip uh, season. So if if you check out our YouTube and our social media channels, you see that I visit a uh, or Floriana Jones and and myself and Doctor Van Bloem, we visited uh, the tulip growers in Holland. Uh, if so, if you want to learn something about uh, the tulips, check it out on our YouTube channel and on our social media uh, sites like uh, Instagram and Facebook. Because there's a whole industry behind it, behind those uh, beautiful tulips. And yeah, it's tulip season, so uh, why not uh, take advantage of those uh, beautiful flowers uh, which are there now. And the funny thing is the, the later in the tulip season, the more different uh, types of flowers you get as well. Or the different shapes and more varieties. So actually really now, uh, February, March, uh, you really get those nice uh, different varieties. We're also putting some leaves in now to get some depth as well. And it really matches well with the green centers of the, uh, the commander. At the end, we need to create, uh, to break a little the line of the reef. Yeah, we have all the basic flowers connected just in the center of the reef. Yeah. yeah. And it has break with a couple of branches that I will take now. And also this lovely green, green leaf, uh, gray leaves that connects also with the, the color and creates like a, an accent. That's also the most important in this design. For one. Yeah. We got uh, our uh, Belgium uh, friends, uh, friend in as well, Max Huto, saying good afternoon, Spain and the Netherlands. <laughs> Bonjour, Hi. Max. Wow, it, it really comes to life now, the design with, uh, with the green leaves. Yeah, I need uh, to break a little bit with some dry branches, the browny colors, to connect the, the whites and greens also with the brown of the bulbs and the, the greens of the roots. So we need to some dry branches to connect also the, the colors and create the different lines for the, the lecture, the, the reading, yeah, in the in this. Um. Yeah, like you said, it is really coming to life and just a, a couple of simple branches make it really interesting and, and more playful. Uh, Janine de Fruto is in saying salut Max. So people are going to talk with each other as well in the chat. Uh, all the way from the north of Holland, Friesland, Geertje Stienstra is in as well. Hi Geertje, hope you enjoy watching us. I really love how it all comes, I mean, white is one color, but sometimes white is really difficult to combine because you have the darker whites, but, but here it really comes nicely together. Yes, yeah, so this, this, the first one will be ready. Yes, it's a reed. We can see the, the texture, the main texture of the crescent demon, and we break with the lines of the bulbs, the branches, sprantia, hydrangea, and all the flowers that connects all the colors. We have also some Ami, I mean, my youth, that, uh, the Gota, that helps us to connect uh, all the different whites and gray colors in the in the design. Yeah, what's the what's the leaf you used? Because it's uh, it looks like a very interesting and special leaf. Yeah, it's like a splenium, I think, a variety of a splenium. Huh? Oh, it's beautiful. It really is. So and that's already... Sorry, eh, John, you can use also philodendro, some philodendro leaves, alocasia leaves, another kind of leaves also can be useful for this, this accent. Yeah. yeah it, but like you said, it's important to get the accent to make it more playful and, and really stand out. 
and and break the line uh, of this uh, this design a bit yes and also, wow thank you so much for the first design thank you very much john i would say also that the lines of the bulbs when they are growing will be very interesting in a couple of days we'll take a couple of photos and then you can show me yeah yeah we will show for sure in the, in our lookbook and also on our social media so uh really nice uh, We've got people watching from Mexico as well. Cecilia saying hello from Mexico. Uh, and I think we have more people watching as well. So uh, let us know in the comments. Where are you coming from? And uh, yeah, what would you like to see? Or comment on the designs uh, from Carlos or ask Carlos something because uh, this man is really, really knowledgeable. Uh, he doesn't only have his own flower shop. He has uh, flows as well, flues. Um, maybe, Carlos, you can tell a little bit more about flues as well? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, maybe I introduce first the, the second design and then I talk during I finish it about flues. Yeah. So the second design, we begin with a little of core, all the pins. People that knows me and knows how, how I used to work, the pin hair doesn't fit much to me. To the design that I used to work, but I, I have the feeling that some decorative design also has to be introduced. Also, the wreath, and here we have a traditional shape like a heart. It can be Valentine's Day or St. George's Day for us, that is uh, 23 of April, Mother's Day, or for a funeral, also the same. Because at the end, this design you can just shape, change the shape and you can do with the same ideas or colors all the composition that you, you like one in this case. So we have uh, different roses combination creating the texture and keeping the shape and then just we have done a small hole in the center where we'll, we fit, we'll, we'll do the, the accent, yeah, the contrast of the design just over here. So we, now we have the clematis, yeah, the chrysanthemum, the lysianthus, yeah, some eucalyptus and now we'll finish with some uh, small flowers and with the small details yeah let me show you some pictures of the uh, the spray roses uh, which are used as well because they are really beautiful it's a new one it's called royal blush so it's a garden spray rose so if you look in the center you get that garden rose feeling but it's a spray rose also a fantastic color there as well uh, it's called royal blush from uh, the grower the opstal a small grower in Holland of spray roses, but he specializes in those special varieties. Uh, if you watch the show more, you know that we love the other variety as well that he is growing, Mimi Eden, the two-colored, the two-toned uh, spray rose. And that combination with those two uh, varieties is, I mean, is, it is stunning. And then we also have uh, some chrysanthemums in it or centinis from uh, Daily Floor again, grown by Zento. It's called uh, Yin Yang Pink. It's the, the pink one with the black center. And especially if you work in a design like this and you want to open it up or you want to bring some accent, the Yin Yang Pink or the other Yin Yangs as well with the black center really help out uh, well to do this. Um, got Linda Nielsen as well in from, uh, from Denmark. So we got uh, really everybody. Uh, Max Ruto is saying, uh, if I, I can get Royal Blast Roses in Bordeaux, I will be happy just saying. Uh, Max, uh, don't worry, they will be there. Um, so uh, why is Max saying, uh, I want those red or those uh, roses in Bordeaux? Because 10 and 11 of uh, March, so uh, just over a week, we will be in, uh, in, in France, in Bordeaux. And we have the, the floor event in, uh, in Bordeaux. So if you're there, uh, please come by. We have a stand as Flower Circus and uh, Max is doing a, a demonstration there. So John, I see some I'm fixing the, the small flowers just in the center of the heart. So just creating more details and more details just with the small flowers. We have the, the talinum. We use the Hypericum, we'll use the, the Strandia again. Yeah. And, and, and the Clamatis. We have the uh, 
Hypericum is from uh, from from Florius. Florius says the Hypericum is called the Coco series. So if you see a a, a Coco Hypericum, then you know it's uh, from Florius. Florius is uh, growing in three countries in the world. They are growing in Africa and also in South America. So there's not a lot of transport going on from all over the world. So Africa is mostly flown into Europe and South America into America. Um, well, we've got Evelyn van Vught in as well. Wonderful to join Greets from Zurich. So we've got Switzerland in. And we've got a birthday girl in as well. Nice to see this today. Kirsten van Dijk from the US. Uh, Kirsten, happy birthday. Uh, wish you all the best and uh, hope to see you actually uh, soon uh, as well. So happy birthday. Hope you have a, have a great day. Uh, while Sally is asking you, uh, Carlos, what's the name of the clematis? Do you know the, the name of the variety? I don't remember, John. <laughs> really, I can check it. <laughs> I am not the best one with the name. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sally, this, uh, this clematis uh, Carlos took from his own shop. He will check it and I will, I will send it to you later. Uh, what's the variety of the, the clematis? There are many different types of, of clematis nowadays as well. Whoever thought uh, 10 years ago that clematis is going to be uh, a cut flower, but uh, now it's there. Anna is in as well, saying uh, hello, John. Hello, Carlos from Brussels. Nice to see you again, uh, Anna. We have a lot of friends eh? here, John. We've got uh, more and more friends coming in, uh, Carlos, all for you. Uh, I've got a question, and I, and I really love the design. And I really love how you play with the height of the, the flowers. So it's not a really uh, block of flowers. It's really playful, this heart. Sometimes I see just a an, an floral foam heart and it's just covered in flowers and it's just the shape as it is. But this makes it really colorful and, and opening it up with other colors of flowers in the middle uh, that really shows how creative you are. I think at, at the end, of course, we can do the traditional designs and keep the shape as we, we like, as we want. But uh, we have also the option, yeah, to create something more personal. I would not say di different, but I would say more personal. Yeah. At the end, I create an accent here in the center to make a little bit different the design. So everybody knows how to do a heart full of flowers. But I think that here the most interesting is how to create the small movement between all the flowers in the center and you create the depth here. Also, all the roses has a little of depth and a little of movement playing with the big flowers with the small buds, buttons that we have from the different varieties of roses that, that you, you sent to me, the lovely flower that we have. So at the end, we have to think about, uh, we have to think a little bit how, how we can do it a little bit. Yeah, you have to stand out. I mean, especially as a florist, some countries have quite some competition from uh, from other florists, but also the supermarkets. And if you can give it your own signature, it would be uh, really great. While I'm here in Dubai and uh, it's time uh, for a prayer, so if you hear something, it's uh, it's prayer time. <laughs> You said before I talk a little bit about fruits. Fruits, fruits. Uh, it's a, a project that we began uh, close to ten years ago, nine years now ago. And it's a group of uh, floral designers around the world that we publish on a website what we call a floral recipe. Floral recipes, so it's how to do a design. And we explain a step by step how to do it. Yeah. Now we have more than 800 designers Customers wow. right? They can have access to all of them. They can see the photos, the videos, the tags that we explain how to do it and all the details. And it's like a subscription like Netflix. And you pay a monthly fee you have access on it. So they can have more information on the website. But uh, the most important is that we have, we have, we are about 30 floral designers, master floris around the world. So we have all the different cultures of floris. 
that for me is the most important, how the people can see and can understand the floristry in each country. So they come here to Barcelona, we do a photo shoot, and then the people can That's the way that we yeah, uh, people can see now the, the website in the, in the screen as well, flows.org. There you can find uh, a lot of information and, uh, and all the floral recipes. The nice thing I think about the floral recipes, what you put there as well, is the level of difficulty as well. So uh, if you want to, if you're on a higher level, maybe you can try the, those really difficult things. But also if you're a, a starter florist, there are some, some easier designs as well. So for everybody, there's uh, there's something. Yes, at the end, you know, we have 800 designs published, I think a bit more, but uh, then it's difficult to search what you are looking for, you know? So there is a few, two different kind of filters. Is yes, you can filter by the, by the master florist or maybe by the season or about the flower or the material. You can search the material or, or the variety of flowers that you look for. But also there is a special filter search that you can search with the artificial intelligence, how you say in English, AI. Yeah, the AI. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you can search the design by all the theory that we teach in the schools. So a symmetrical design, asymmetrical, a formal lineal, a decorative, all this kind of information is uh, on the website. Oh, nice. Like, uh, like I showed before, flus.org, uh, uh, there you can find all those uh, designs and then uh, the recipes as well. Uh, the recipes of these uh, designs you will find in our lookbook. If you register on our website, you will find, uh, you will get the lookbook. If you go to the website flowercircus.nl, you will find the previous lookbooks as well. So from, uh, from last month, uh, when, we have Chant when we had Chantal for our 50th show, you will find the lookbook and uh, the shows before as well. Because I think uh, uh, it's nice to get some inspiration sometimes, especially when you're really busy in your own flower shop, just to get some uh, some inspiration from other florists as well. Yeah, we have customers, John, that they, they subscribe to learn floristry. Some others that they are uh, flower arrangers and they just enjoy watching it and practicing it. And some others that is for satisfaction, you know, for enjoy the the time. Like uh, like me, that I enjoy the photography, for example, and I like to see the magazines of photography. So there is some customers that they just subscribe to enjoy the the pictures and also the the techniques that we explain. Yeah, and I mean, uh, if you find all those techniques and you, maybe you combine some techniques, so it's more of your own as well. I think that's really important to have your own signature. Um, but that, that's why people come to you. Okay, John, I am ready on um, this one. Yeah. So we have the, the hair, the pink one. We, will, we went from the white to the pink soft pink and a little of, uh, how do you like, colors and brownies, yeah, yeah. give the branches to create a little more natural and not so decorative design, the feeling, and then the most important is the, all the movement that we have. Probably the customer, when when goes to the shop, will enjoy the roses, first of all. First of yeah. all. They will look here and they will see all the design that we have. There's just a, a second layer in it. So first of all, you see all those roses and you are amazed with all those roses. And then it's like, wow, there's much more going on. So it's actually a design that, that, that interested you or you can keep looking at it and find out new things as well. So it's, it's really nice. Thank you very much, John. I go for the next one. Yeah, thank you. So if you want to see more of those designs, uh, please like and subscribe. The more people we get uh, following us, uh, liking us, the more uh, beautiful uh, things we can do, like these shows, like Dr. Van Bloom, like uh, Floriana Jones. Uh, visit more flower shops all over the world. Is it something that you want to see more, for example, that 
we don't do the show in Holland, but we go and uh, see other shops as well, like the shop of Carlos at the moment uh, in Spain. I mean, all those things. Uh, let us know, but uh, please don't forget to to like and subscribe. Uh, New Age Floral saying the depth. Yeah, that's really, I think it makes it not just a little bit better. It makes a huge difference. And I like how you make com completely different designs every time, uh, Carlos. It's amazing. Actually, after this design, I've got a great announcement to make as well. I told about it a little bit already before, but we also have something really nice coming up in May, the 15th, 16th, and 17th of May. Uh, if you are free and uh, you are willing to come to Holland or you're already living in Holland, we've got something special uh, for you. Uh, we've got friend of the show in as well, Cookie Noyle, saying uh, greetings, John and all. Cookie, nice to uh, to see you here as well. Hope to see you in real life uh, soon again. Who knows, maybe again in uh, in Kenya on the exhibition. Here we actually see a new variety which is being tested at the moment. Uh, in the first arrangement, we had the white commander, and here we have the pink one. The pink one will be introduced soon. Uh, it's tested at the moment. It has the same uh, characteristics as the, the white one. So we know it has a lot of flowers on one stem. It's a, it's a really beautiful one. This is the cursed stem one you are talking about? Yeah. It's fantastic. It's funny because in this one I work with the cursed the big one, the Uniflora a small one like this one and they seem the same but in different sizes so it connects completely yeah. one with the other yeah the the other one is uh, is rosano uh, rosano is available in many colors already this is the pink one and then funny what you say uh colors there that you're combining the spray ones with with the single head ones that's something Thing I hear that some designers do as well with the roses. So they take the really big uh, single head roses and they find a spray rose that is more or less the same to get a more of a natural look. And it almost looks like the small flowers will open up and will grow into those big flowers. It's like this. And in this case, we have the uh, wet growth one with the round piece. But, and we have just texture with the cinnamon, just be, beside with the hot glue, we have fixed it. And then we have all the yeah. small garden just inside, like the fence, the fan, fence, eh? and all the plants. Yeah, the fence around the... Ah, I can imagine uh, all the smells going on as well. The a cinnamon fence, and then the smell of all the flowers uh, in and around it. That's, uh, that's making it really interesting. Uh, some beautiful Lysiantes in there from uh, from Van der Lucht, the lavender one. Uh, so many different uh, colors, over 30 different varieties from Lucht Lysiantes. And important with making a garden or using floral foam or uh, floral base is that you have quality flowers. Look at spray roses, how many uh, flowers are on one stem. Look at the chrysanthemums, how many flowers are on one stem. Maybe you'll pay a little bit more when you're buying those flowers, but at least you can cover a bigger uh, spot as well. That's why Carlos is also using the spray Veronica. Not a normal, uh, there's also the normal Veronica in it, but also the spray one. Uh, he's showing him, and I will show it as well. Oh, that's too much going on now. <laughs> there it is. So you can see the head. It's almost like uh, it, it, lo it looks a little bit like lavender. Uh, it, it's in more colors available. It's also from Florius. Uh, it's actually normally it wasn't really a filler in a bouquet of Veronica. But the spray Veronica is a filler in the bouquet now. Anna saying the arrangement looked like spring itself. It's 
I mean, you can have a whole garden on your kitchen table or somewhere in the middle of your uh, your room. Uh, New Age Floor was saying, wow, I love this smart splash. It is really something. Uh, I love Veronica's because my uncle was growing them and I was cutting them when I was a little boy already. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I was cutting the normal Veronica's. But now this, I think, uh, really stands out. We've got uh, more Veronica's in there as well. Uh, smart and joys. What I like about uh, Florius, first of all, is the quality. Second of all, how they think about the environment. Uh, if you order there from them directly, you can get it in paper sleeves. So no plastic sleeves whatsoever. They roll them in paper sleeves, which are made of waste of the leaves of the flowers. So that's, uh, that's a great thing. And the smart thing what they did is name all their varieties or giving them the same name. Like we talked about the uh, Hypericum when it's all called Coco. With the Veronicas, they all call them Smart. So it's the whole Smart series is from uh, from Florius. Uh, Evelyn van Vught is saying as well, beautiful. And it, it, it really is. I Actually, normally I want to be in Spain and, and close to you, uh, Carlos, because I, I love it and you got some really great restaurant in the in the town as well uh, but to see this arrangement live i mean that would be so nice to, to see it uh mania is saying as well hello from venlo the netherlands the smell of the cinnamon just must be great and i think that is, is one thing in in the flower shop that we sometimes forget we of course with the eye we can see the colors we can work with shapes but also uh, the smell of certain flowers. Uh, sometimes what we forget to use. Uh, we had a, we were at the exhibition in Milan last week, and we, I think we had the best smelling stand over there because we had it filled up with uh, garden roses from Alexandra Farms, and we had cymbidiums in there, so we had a great smell. John, I tried to show to you a little bit. This one is heavy, but maybe you can see now how it goes. All the flowers from inside to outside, all the depth in the design is the most important. I hope that you can see in the, in the video, but uh, yeah. also between all the colors from the white to the lilacs and the pinks and the fuchsia. All the different colors with the different a little bit of salmon also with the iberico so just great all this connection between all the flowers and creating the depth at the end we keep the garden like a very flat garden yeah and close in a, in a round shape but at the end the feeling is from a, a lot of colors a lot of smells and a small garden inside the house as you say so this would be the idea. There is not a lot to match techniques in this design. That's something that I used to talk of a lot with the mechanics and techniques. But in this case, there is also the, the idea of the color and the movement and the depth of the flowers and how we can play also the same variety of flowers, the same Veronica's with different colors in the same design. Something that I don't use to, to do too much, but in this case, for this kind of design, we can see the Veronica spray and the other different Veronicas and colors just playing all together in the same in the same garden. Yeah, you have the bigger, stronger flowers. You have a little bit lower because that that's quite uh, big, and then the playful flowers uh, going up and up. So we have the the Lysiantus, the the Alyssa white. We have the lavender, Astroncia as well, Clematis. Wow. Somebody is going to be really happy with this design. <laughs> I will show today in the, in the shop and we'll see what they think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Please make pictures first before it's sold in the shop. <laughs> okay, I will. I will. I'm thinking of it. It's, it's funny because yeah. are, it depends the time of the day. We have the smell of the cakes, of the chocolate, of the flowers, and then we go round and round every day with that. So it's funny for the customer. <laughs> yeah. 
I think you need to bring the customers something as well to give them some excitement. Uh, what's happening in your flower shop? That's what we see uh, other shops doing as well, trying to inspire uh, uh, people to come in into their shop, see what's happening. Uh, and in your shop, you can really see all the chocolates, how it's made, how you are making designs with your team as well. And uh, I think the ci it's cinnamon time in, uh, <laughs> in San Saloni. <laughs> well, and first of all, yeah, sometimes when you do demonstration, they need to, to take a, a theme or idea. Yeah, spring is the wood and uh, the one, but also the material also helps to connect all the designs. Cinnamon or all the designs. Is yeah. Uh, first of all, Carlos, can you explain how you made the frame with the cinnamon? Yes, it's a. Um, a wreath, a ring, yeah, of cardboard, and we yeah. have glued the cinnamon on the top, just two different layers, and then at the end we have done a structure with the wires, the, the flower that we call the, with the black stamp wire, just to fix all the structure. Then it's easy because uh, at the end there is not too much work on it, and we just fix the flowers between the wires so it goes uh in the place where we want yeah but at the end uh we have two different techniques one is doing the cinnamon and the other is doing the structure with the black wires it's really amazing on Seilstra watching as well did, uh, did some of the shows as well saying uh, great he's in love with the design uh, great to see you hans as well uh, joining uh, the show Again, we have the, the Rossano in here. Uh, we have some carnations as well, the Amis and uh, the Cymbidium. Just some Cymbidium flowers, put them on a stick. And uh, it directly gives your, uh, your whole design a different look. So here we have created like a, a texture with a cinnamon round. So keep all the flowers inside, all the inside. And then we have the chrysanthemum, we have the ami, and we have the yankus that connects the colors that we want. And now we have the texture created, and we are going to create some movement with the special flower. And in this case, we have the cymbidium, yeah, that we have just with the, with the two, like this. And then... Yeah. Yeah, we perfect will, solution. We will continue the, the other flowers or details. Um, we will connect, yeah, with the cinnamon, the, the texture and color that we have outside. We will connect inside the design. So we are going to create like a, a small line where we will play with the flowers and, and leaves. Oh, smart. So we have all the, the movement of the materials of the flowers. Now the movement is very low, is minimum, and with all the different accessories that we are going to play now, we are going to, to create more depth and freedom the composition. And also, it's always, like always, to create a short accent, a small accent yeah, in the design. So in this case, we have the, the ripsalids plant that will help yeah. the, uh, the material to play with the material completely different from others. It is really great. Yeah, one more time I will show you the, the Rosano. If you want to play a little bit more, more with the colors as well of Rosano, um, there is the Rosano Charlotte, with a, which has a green edge. There's an, uh, there's an orange Rosano and an orange Rosano with a, with a green edge as well. So uh, 
you want to give it a little bit more depth, Rosano Cholot, it's uh, it's quite popular, very popular actually. Uh, the funny thing is, it all comes from the same initial Rosano. It was just a grower who found the, the green tips on the end of the flower leaves, brought it back to the to the breeder and said, maybe this could be a new variety. And that's how uh, they ended up with Rosano Cholot. Crescent Emum Rosano is a flower that we always have in the flower shop. It's a flower that keeps for a long yeah. time, people is happy, the price is reasonable, then we just go and change the colors every month. That's the way that we, we do here. Yeah. So, uh, in your shop, what are the big holidays? Because I know there's a regional big holiday uh, where you only sell red roses or red roses are sold the most and, and we're not talking about valentine's day are we no uh you have to think that we are in Catalonia, barcelona yeah so some yeah. some uh, with the spain and also these uh, the dates yeah the special dates valentine's day is a busy day in the shop but it's not the busiest for the catalan people we have saint george day 23 of april that is the, the busiest day of the year. Yeah, for okay. Us. And yeah, the tradition is that the, the man gives us a present, a red rose, so similar to Valentine's Day, uh, to, the, to the wife, the, to the mother, to the friends, and everything. And then the, the woman gives a, a book as a present to the, to the husband or to the friends, to the kids. Oh, that's an interesting so it, one. Yeah, it's a nice tradition, uh, busy and interesting, of course, for the flower shop. Yeah. Uh, last year, here in, in the flower shop, we, we had 800, cost, 800 customers in one day. <laughs> wow. And, and in the shop in a town, eh? you know, John, you have been here, so in, I'm not in Barcelona or a big city. But uh, it's a big day that everybody likes to give uh, red roses and presents. It's a nice tradition. And, and Women's Day, is that something you celebrate? or? Well, we celebrate, no? but, but we don't sell flowers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, cel you celebrate Women's Day every day. Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, Ivan Bergin as well. Ivan was with us uh, at uh, my plant and garden. He was demonstrating uh, in the booth of Flower Circus with the Lusiantes uh, and, and a lot of other things. He had his own booth as well with his flower school. He had a he made a beautiful dress out of, uh, amongst other flowers, uh, chrysanthemums. So check out his, uh, his website or his, uh, his Instagram and then you will find that the beautiful dress and then you can see how we made uh, some beautiful things in our uh, booth as well. Uh, Conchetta El Badri is asking, what, the, what is the plant material that Carl, uh, Carlos placed in the design? Ripsalis. Ripsalis, uh, Conchetta. It's nice because it keeps for a long time. Uh, more than the flowers, and then also if the, the customers, if they, they want, they can take it out and put in a, in a pot and grow the plant. It's easy and uh, can be useful. Yeah. yeah. Then it's really sustainable. The funny thing is also you're using uh, Hypericum, and Hypericum is in, in so many different colors nowadays as well. Yeah, we have all the cocoa varieties that they are lovely. So in this case, we have a, this apericum that gives us a color like a little cream between the the yandus, yeah, and the cinnamon, and connect with the clear colors of the design. So this is why I am using it. Yeah, the shape also is interesting in this case, but especially for the the texture of the cocoa. Yeah. So they got the, the whites, the greens, the pinks, uh, light pink, dark pink, the, the, of course, the, the red ones, the almost brown ones. Uh, there are many different colors now in, uh, in Hypericum. So I think like 
chrysanthemum. It's also a flower that you can have in your shop all the time because it's a very long-lasting flower as well. 